Hello? Ambulance? My friend just got mauled by a bear and he's dead. Um, okay, can you- can you just make sure that he is dead? Uh, uh, okay. BANG! Now what? <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Get Lost. <laughs> Welcome to Get Lost. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> oh, that was probably the worst one so far, I think. <laughs> they just get worse and worse. You can tell that I had a list of them and I used all the best ones up. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. It took me a second. I was like, why, why are you shouting bang? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh he shot his friend. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I should just explain the joke. Instead of actually telling the joke, I should just explain it. You'd be like those meme accounts. You've seen those meme accounts where it's like, um, Bart explains and stuff like that. No. Basically what they do, they, they'll post a meme and then they'll write uh, a couple of paragraphs explaining the meme. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> just completely ruins Which, the joke completely. Yeah, absolutely. Because you get half the people like Compton going, oh, can someone explain this? <laughs> yeah, use me as a I don't get it button. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I see that so often. And I always fucking click the like on their comment because I never really understand a lot of, <laughs> a lot of shit. <laughs> oh my God. Isn't there like that one kid in class who puts a hand up to ask a question everyone's too scared to ask? Yeah. <laughs> like... Although, that's the same kid who will say, like, oh, uh, you forgot to collect in the homework, or didn't you say that we had a test today? Well, that kid that just has no <laughs> friends. <laughs> oh, that reminds me of um, one time we had our, our French teacher asked us to hand the homework in, yeah. and most of us ain't done it, we forgot that shit. <laughs> of course. And so she's going through the class one by one asking people, yo, where's your homework at? No. Yo, where's oh. the homework? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, she's sorry, sorry, she's French. Yo, where's the homework? Uh, where's the homework? Uh, <laughs> Professor Dumbledore. And, <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's like, oh, I left it at home, left it at home. Sorry, I forgot. It's at home. It's at home. So she's going through person by person. They're all telling her it's at home. Mm. And then she gets to this one dude and he's like, yo, I'm going to be honest about this. I didn't even do it. I'm not even gonna lie like these motherfuckers. <laughs> I didn't do the homework. Like my um, bitch classmates. I'm gonna be, yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. You know, I'm not gonna just lie to you. And I think he's expecting something out of it. And she turned to him and she was like, okay, well you're getting detention for that one. <laughs> you're getting detention and for throwing us. your friends under the bus. <laughs> Literally throwing. And like to everyone else, she was like, oh, just, you know, just hand it in the next day is fine. If you've done yeah. it, you've you know, obviously not had, but <laughs> just goes to show, you know, being honest isn't always the answer. No, it's not. Although, like, I sort of, as, as we're getting older, I'm sort of starting to understand more those kids who would say, like, oh, you forgot the homework, or you forgot to give us the test. Because if that person has sat there and fucking studied for this test, like, revised loads, or they've sat there for hours and done the homework, they're going to one hand it in. <laughs> and I'd have done the same yeah. fucking thing. If I spent ages on, like, a fucking poster or whatever shit they used to make us do at school. I'd be like, yeah, but this kid hadn't done it. He it. hadn't done it. No, well, he hadn't done it. He was just owning up to the fact that he hadn't. Well, he's a fucking moron, isn't he? <laughs> Total idiot. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, yeah. I I'd always, I'd I'd be the kid who would be like, oh no, you you didn't set us anything, and just try and fully fucking lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's gaslighting. <laughs> is what Can that, you that explain is gaslighting. what gaslighting means? Because I don't know what that means. It's just um, convincing someone that their reality isn't reality. Oh. So, like, so it'd be like, um, say I was an asshole to you, and I was just like, say it was my turn to take the bins out, something stupid like that. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't do it. And then you were like calling me up on it because we had an agreement that I'd do the bins. Yeah. And so you were like, yo, bro, uh, you're supposed to do the bins. And then I was like, yo, you made up this stupid fucking rule. Oh. Um, 
I'd done a bins three weeks ago twice and like just started like uh, screaming at you okay. over like just trying to basically get you to submit <laughs> and question yourself and your own beliefs and you'd be like oh did, I, did, did he do the bins all the time back then <laughs> when actually I hadn't I just I just wanted you to just bend to my will gotcha okay that's that makes the, a lot because I see the term is. gaslighting so often and I have no fucking idea what it means yeah <laughs> but no I, I don't think anyone does bro I think it's just a buzzword really yeah <laughs> <laughs> to be honest because I see it used in so many different scenarios and I'm like do you, do any of you know what this means because <laughs> I 100% don't <laughs> <laughs> um do you remember speaking of like your reality is not the real reality when we were in fucking one of our weekend trips away we went on a little um, a little conversation tangent about how we, we just started going, fuck, what if we are actually like The Sims, <laughs> like the game, and someone's controlling us right now, and someone's just told us to go to Poland for like a weekend, and it's all a simulation. <laughs> Bro, that shit was first introduced to me at uni, and that was my first like... My, my mind was open to the idea that we are a simulation really and that shit hit me so hard man i was questioning everything i was like bro is, is, is me doing this it's here? scary what's, what's going on and all my boys in the house were like yeah there's a 99.9 percent .9 chance we're in a simulation oh fuck off i was looking around and i was like shit <laughs> the fuck oh, no because someone could have just what told if... us to do a podcast some some guy on his big computer has just clicked on the computer and said do a podcast yeah. for our our characters <laughs> maybe they've done that maybe he's done that and what if he gets in a bad mood <laughs> he trap us in the pool and take away the steps like, like you used to do on The Sims and kill your character. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blame that. Every time I do something fucked up, I'm going like, to like kill someone. Just shake your fist Yo, at the sky. <laughs> bro, this is a simulation. I'm not choosing this shit. <laughs> yeah. I just killed someone. I, the fucking guy in charge was doing this shit, not me. That'll hold up in court, yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't kill him. Someone, <laughs> it's a simulation. I was made to. It's my, someone made well, me judge, do it. <laughs> this isn't even the fifth dimension, bro. <laughs> you can't hold me accountable for my own actions. You tell him. That guy fucking controlling me. <laughs> you punish yeah, bro. him. He's controlling you, you too, F5. though. So. You pressed F five. Like, what was I supposed? To, what was I supposed to do? <laughs> you rob a bank. He pressed the cheat code that just gave me loads <laughs> of money, <laughs> infinite money. What, <laughs> <laughs> what do you expect? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> well, welcome to the fiftieth episode, people. Uh, I say welcome. We're already yes. like fucking ten minutes in, but. <laughs> <laughs> We said we were going to do something special, and we said we were going to talk about it off air. We didn't, <laughs> but no. Every episode is special oh. with us. <laughs> That's true. This is a, a special, a special podcast, really. When you yeah, think about it, because we're two special people. But we did put a question on the Instagram. We did put that. <laughs> we did. We did do that. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Yeah, I was just a hype man again. <laughs> so I, I asked it's what we should. Here. There's an echo in here. There's an echo in it. There's an echo in it. Comedy. <laughs> Not the. <laughs> That's the worst thing when someone just fucking repeats everything you're saying. Oh, that is the worst thing when everyone just repeats what you're saying. <laughs> um, so, so we posted a question on Instagram. Yes. And we had a response. We got an answer. We had a response. I like that you 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 were holding it off because you haven't got it in front of you, so you're waiting for me to read it out. <laughs> you like set that up, <laughs> like oh, so we put something on the Instagram, and now Clark is here to tell you what it said. <laughs> <laughs> I would have just made something up in the spot, and you'd been like, "What?" We're like Anna Deck, uh, yeah, <laughs> just completely make it up. I'm like, uh, "That's not what I've got here." We could do that and no one would know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's so true. It's like Ask that's FM so when people would ask themselves questions. Oh, my dear. So like, oh, you're so oh, hot. I've done that before. I've oh, done yeah, that same, before. same. But my, I, I set myself up for a joke on there, which is even worse oh, than calling yourself attractive. That's bad. 
What was the joke? Do you I, remember? I just it was it was such a specific setup as well. So I don't <laughs> obviously everyone must have known that it was me asking it. Yeah. The, <laughs> so the joke was um, like one guy says to another, "I'm fat." It runs in my family. And then the other guy says, no, bro, no one runs in your family. Oh, dear. That's the that's the joke. But I just asked myself on Ask FM, yo, bro, I'm fat. It runs in my family. <laughs> that's so- and no one's going to ask that. No one. <laughs> that's, that's not even a question. That's the most that's unnatural a way to say that you're fat as well. Yeah. <laughs> it runs in my family. It's, it's genetic. <laughs> 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 God, oh, that's... it is like no, no one's fat, and then gives a description of why they're fat. You know, no one's fat. I, I'm fat. I eat too many donuts. Yeah, I'm fat. My metabolism's bad. So <laughs> there it is. Just thought I'd put it on your ask FM. Yeah. I'm fat. I had an injury two years ago, and I still haven't recovered. <laughs> I haven't been able to do cardio. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we got uh, from uh, our boy Neil Riley. I say our boy. I've never met him in my life. It's, it's my boy, really. Yeah. <laughs> no idea who he is. <laughs> Shout out because he fucking listens. You can claim him, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> my friend. Uh, he said, talk about uh, the podcast growth from start till now. Uh, our favorite moments slash episodes. Uh, the plan for the next 50 episodes. And what are our New Year's resolutions? So should we tackle okay. this one at a time? I think that'd be wise. Podcast growth from start till now. It's grown down. <laughs> <laughs> you could say it's shrunk. Yeah, it, 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 <laughs> it's, it's, it's grown like a woman entering her 70s. <laughs> All of her bones have this just completely so. shrunk. <laughs> She's half the height she was when she was 20. <laughs> <laughs> we could talk about the listens, right? Let's let's have a look at our first fucking episode. I'd I'd call it growing pains. I'd call it growing pains. Yeah, it's painful. It, um, it's, um, <laughs> <laughs> our first couple of episodes. Our first episode has 121 uh, plays. Yeah, and I think that is the reason we don't get any plays now because people played that one and it's such a bad episode. Like it's fucking horrendous that episode. It is, it is true. I think the first the first few yeah. weren't great. Although we had some good stories great. in them. But that first one that I just the, it was so quiet. <laughs> the only way to and fucking the, hear the mic is, quality is so bad. Oh it is, yeah. The, the mic quality is fucking dreadful. That was back, back when I used the snowball. Yeah. I had the snowball at this point. For anyone that doesn't know, that's a it's a type of microphone and it's shit. We give it to the guests. Yeah. Because it's better than their Mac laptop microphone. But it's, it keeps cutting out and I have to like fucking piece together the conversation because it <laughs> cuts out so much. That's, that's unbelievably long. Yeah. <laughs> it fucking is. Trust me. <laughs> I used to actually have to sit here and listen to the full episode back to make sure that it was fine. But now we've got good equipment so I don't have to do that. <laughs> yeah. um, so we've got oh, 121 dude. listens on the first play and now we've on our most recent one we have uh eight (laughs) eight literally eight there's the one released on monday yeah they usually take a couple of days that's like a couple of days yeah literally we're averaging around 20 views now yeah about which is i still i quite like the fact there's 20 people out there (laughs) who just listen to an hour of us talking yeah in itself is fucking crazy. Fucking shout like, out to I can't get my boys to listen to me for more than five minutes at a time. <laughs> Their attention starts to dwindle. So thank you to everyone who <laughs> is doing a lot better than the boys. Yeah, it feels, it feels nice that people actually want to listen to this. Or people are just doing it to punish themselves, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe they like our Maybe boys. it's just like your parents just, just putting it on loop. <laughs> just be, I reckon that's yeah. what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually me I play it on all my different devices I've got loads of different <laughs> fucking Spotify and Apple Music accounts just so I can listen to it oh my days. <laughs> but I think the people who listen probably just listen just for the slight chance we give away something really revealing about ourselves <laughs> which we already have to be honest we've given away a lot yeah, yeah. <laughs> no I stones left stories. unturned Bro, I've told everyone to have a wipe my ass to be honest yep <laughs> yep <laughs> yes you have and so have I 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we've had long combos about that one. <laughs> um, so what, what, what next? Uh, favorite episodes slash moments. Do you know what stands out to you, Ginger? <clears throat> um, I've been enjoying the question games since day one. To be They've honest, been good fun. They're so difficult though. I thought we'd be good at them by now. Yeah, uh, the, particularly the one where um, I think it was you who um, you were reading the Bible and I was having a party. Oh mate, yeah. No, no, I was reading the Bible and you were having a party. Yeah, and I kept on talking about the strippers for some reason, and I just kept oh, on going back to the so fact that I had strippers funny. at this party. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, <laughs> mate, that shit was funny as hell. That was good shit. I remember yeah, there was a time, funny. right, one of the earliest ones, where we went on this whole thing about bringing bringing a bucket of rabbits into like a strip club. I don't even remember the setup <laughs> for the joke, but we spoke for it for about twenty yeah. minutes. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Oh my god. We've had some good times. Although, to be honest, half of it just fucking... I forget straight away. Yeah, same, to be honest. It, it's, it's like, there one second. Because you're so focused on what you're saying that um, yeah. it's difficult to remember. Damn right. But it's... The best moments, I think, have just have, have just been doing it. <laughs> no, I like, I like the feedback we get. <laughs> <laughs> just like the fucking... that, was some, that was some gay shit, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I think the best moments are just just doing it. It's just been <laughs> it's been, been a real treat. Oh, fucking Gary V over. Nah. <laughs> oh god. No, it's it's the interactions. Yeah, oh my god, we no, got yeah, a tweet as well. Fuck, we got to read that later on. Yeah, I do enjoy people getting involved. Oh, I love that. I'm, I'm going to read it now, actually. It's from Neil again. Yeah, it's, okay. He tweeted. We're doing tweets now. Yeah, we've only got one, so it's just it's sort of to piggyback on what he said there. Uh, yeah. As a little winky myself, I think I can speak on behalf of my fellow little winkies out there. The start of the at Get Lost On Air pod this year has been a major positive and what has been a pretty shit year. There was oh, a poo emoji. Me. Um, Legend. Very excited to see what shenanigans the pod brings in 2021. Oi, mate, that's fucking sick. I love that. Neil, you're going to make us cry. I'm actually, this, I'm actually getting like emotional. That's fucking sick. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best part, getting the people to actually join in with us. And the guests have always that's been it. fun as well. Mate, that Adam Guest Lost podcast stood out oh, to me in particular. So funny. That was hilarious. That was, um, that was hilarious. The fact that he was pissed on absinthe while we were doing the actual podcast episode. Oh, <laughs> oh. We had a, and the fact that I walked out as well. I had to walk oh. out mid episode because you guys were winding me up too much. <laughs> what were we even winding you up about? I can't remember. I think I can't even remember. I can't remember. I think you're probably just calling me short or something. <laughs> probably something so probably. trivial. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! I, know, I, was I, trying, I was trying to tell my story. I was trying to tell my story yes. about Rakia, my Rakia story about your little candle fucking put out a thing, and me and Adam were just <laughs> winding you up. Oh, yeah, great! It was so funny, it's fucking great. Um, but I'm excited, yeah, to see what what we do in the next fifty episodes. Wh who we can actually get yeah. on? Once the the issue is right, we should have our we should be on our fifth guest right now. But yeah. we've had to miss two guest episodes because of COVID, which yeah, fucking sucks. Yeah, the big sucks. CVs hits hard. Yeah. And I mean, it w wouldn't be so bad. We could have got on like a Discord call with someone, but not many people have their own mics. Yeah. So um, we'd have to ship the mic out to them. Um, yeah. The logistics of the whole thing is just a bit of a nightmare. Exactly. Um, but we will. And it, it, the vibe, when you're in the same room as the... I, I noticed Mully's episode that we did, the first guest one, we were on a Skype mm. call. It was a great episode, but the vibe when we had, like, Archie and Adam in the room with us was so much better, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, I actually forgot we had Archie on. Yeah, we had, that was I a fucking sick episode. On. That was crazy, that was. That was the craziest episode of all. Yeah. That was easily <laughs> the craziest episode we've had. 
<laughs> it was. God, that was, I just sat there fucking my mouth wide open, like, in Bro. awe. I was like, Jesus Christ, this kid. Hey, he's, he's on another level. He's insane. I was like, sat there, like, I'm his older brother, and I was just looking at him like, oh my God. <laughs> It's, it's mad. Are you sure, bro? I was like, are you sure? Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, let's do it. <laughs> I said to him, I was like, oh, you, 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 I mean, if you want to change anything, just say. Yeah, just let say. Me know. But no, I respect to up. him. He's got, he's got big gonads. He has. He's a big, he's got big black gonads. <laughs> big black gonads, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> big bruised gonads. <laughs> oh, my oh, God, yeah. No, but I'd like to get some more guests on in the next 50. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'd like to get some more guests on as well. It'd be, and it'd be nice. It'd be nice to start talking about some shit that's going on as well. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's it's hard at the moment because there isn't anything going on apart from COVID, and everyone's fed apart up of hearing COVID. about COVID. I'm sure people <laughs> yeah, come here literally. to escape listening about COVID. Yeah, exactly. We we can start doing like a good news fucking section. That'd be quite cool. Well, good news is the vaccine has now been approved from Oxford University. Yeah, but then the fucking new strains come along, which we don't know if the vaccine actually solves that. We're all going to die, aren't we? <laughs> Bro, it's, this is a shit show. It's We're an absolute shit show. Bro, as soon as we make a vaccine for that one, do you know what's going to come around? Another fucking strain. Yep. This is, it's just mutating until we all get fucking wiped out. Bro, Calling it now. <laughs> <laughs> Calling it now, Bro. mate. That's it. Everyone's like, oh, you know, 2020 is going to be, 2021 is going to be such a better year. Yeah. We enter it, we're going into tier four. <laughs> yeah. Bro, more, at more least we got people. a few months last year of freedom. Yeah, that's true. We did get the first few months of a, a good time. I wonder if the back Bro, end of this year would be better. I had a house party last January. A house party. Must have been about a couple of hundred people. Mate. That is fucking unheard Can you imagine that happening now? Literally. <laughs> I, in, I wouldn't know what to do at a house party now. No, I was in a fucking... Like, oh, just over a year ago, we were on a boat party. <laughs> on a boat party? In, yeah, bro. In one of literally. the fucking biggest cities in Sydney. It's fucking insane. <sighs> You're floating the other side of the world. You can't do that anymore. No. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. But... Um, God. Yeah, so enough about COVID. We'll just have to see what happens, won't we? But yeah, hopefully in the next yeah. 50 we can talk about things. Maybe things about celebrities will start opening up, like fucking Oscars. I don't, that's actually the end yeah. of the year, so that won't be the next yeah. 50, I don't think. But <laughs> some fun shit we can talk about. Hopefully Kanye's going to do some crazy shit, that like Bro. like when he stole an Oscar off, some, off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> or when he pissed on his Grammy. Yeah, so I, I want more shit like OG that. OG shit. That was OG <laughs> shit. That was, that was a legendary. For sure. I want more shit like that. He just pissed on his Grammy. He pissed on his Grammy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he pissed on his Grammy. You give a Grammy to anyone, anyone in the world, the last thing they're going to think, oh, I'm going to take a piss on this. But sort of, like, no you can wash it off, so it's like, you might as well try it. <laughs> you might as well. <laughs> you know? It would have been funny if he'd taken a dump on it. <laughs> I just shit on the thing's head. <laughs> he was just like, he was just sat in the toilet, just like with his phone between his legs, like, just like, come on. Come on. Yeah. It's coming. It's, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear him groaning in the back. He gets hemorrhoids because he's squeezing yeah. too hard. You just hear Kim's, Are you okay in there, honey? <laughs> I am a god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Steve O wanted to shove a Grammy up his ass. I don't know if I talked about that what on the podcast. The, oh, Jesus, no, you didn't. Uh, he, um, he said he wanted to, if he ever won a Grammy, he wanted to take it and shove it right up his ass and like he was going to see medical professionals about how does he have to train his arsehole to be able to get it up there or can he just go and ram it up there oh my god <laughs> what a madman um, jesus Christ, why the fuck that's appalling yeah <laughs> like pissing on it is weird but wanting to shove up your ass is on stage <laughs> That'd be a powerful move. <laughs> He's accepted your favorite sport. artist like doing a set, and then just at the end of it, they're like, "Yeah, so now we're gonna shove the Grammy up my ass." <laughs> oh my god, it'd be so powerful! Oh, yeah. I would actually fucking pay to see it. I think Drake just finishes his set. All right, guys, <laughs> and. <laughs> 
it's in it's in there. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> I know where the eye lights me. You need one dance. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, can't do that for long. Oh. Okay, right, so now what are our New Year's resolutions, Ginger? This is the last part of Neil's little uh, uh, response. Let's do it for the podcast. Let's do it for the podcast. I don't know if I've got individual ones. Oh, we could do individual ones as well. Yeah, we do. Well, I just want to get fit, like fucking yeah. ripped. <laughs> I want to get fit and I want to be financially secure. Yes. Those, those are my two goals for this year both very good goals I mean should we do a little thing now where we say this time next year we are yeah. both jacked yeah let's do that <laughs> let's do it yeah we are yeah, both in the body it. we want okay so and then we can like comment on it next and then in a podcast in a year's time we can review yes. how it went yeah a year in review of your workout routine <laughs> that'd be good yeah and be like we'll just go on and be like yeah I'm jacked now yeah, oh, by the way, got big muscles. Got all the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a girl under each arm. Yeah, no, it went all right. It went all right. <laughs> yeah, this I'm is, fucking... Uh, <laughs> I'm sick of Kylie man. and Kendall here with me today. Um, yeah. My neck game has okay. been through the roof. <laughs> right. <laughs> my neck is the wider than my head accepted now. me as one of their own. <laughs> <laughs> I am now a shark. I can swim for <laughs> three miles in two minutes. I look like Batman. I've got no fucking neck. <laughs> I can't even turn my head now. <laughs> oh, bro. That's it. I've got to I've got to aim to have a really thick neck. Yeah. You have to wear two scarves because one doesn't go around. <laughs> 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 oh god yeah they, they don't give me a snood anymore they give me a greenhouse <laughs> just put a fucking tent over your head <laughs> oh god uh, so what about for the, the pod then what is our new year's resolutions do we have one um, hmm that's a good question I, can... I don't want to do like a viewer count or anything like that no I want to focus on making more funny clips like yeah for the instagram and tiktok and stuff and just doing like themes and games and shit yeah add more games and like having it. focal points that we could have yeah and yeah i think more guests that was the one thing that we both agree on yeah not the one thing but that is something we <laughs> that's the one thing we both finally fucking agree on <laughs> jesus <laughs> no but having, having more but yeah. guests but that's that's covid permitting though is yeah the that's the issue or we just and have I to don't really out. want to chuck them on over Skype with shit audio. No, that's the issue, isn't it? But we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Yeah. Well, stay tuned, everyone, for that because hopefully we'll have a. We've got a good year coming. I hope. I feel like this is our year. This is Get Lost year. Yeah. This is the takeover has begun. <laughs> this is the real beginning. We've 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 now yeah. got the foundations laid, and now we're actually starting. Absolutely. It's funny because yeah. we started, we actually did just like, just, we just started on the sport and released everything as we went along. <laughs> Which yep. is quite funny. No planning at all. <laughs> There's no preparation. We just, we just went. Yeah. Like a, we just came straight out the womb. Straight out the womb. Straight out the womb. <laughs> <laughs> straight out the womb. We did. And I'd like to actually pan. get to the point where we do video. We add a bit of yeah. video to it. Yeah. If we aim for that at the um, New Year's resolution, uh, more... We'll write the, we'll, well, you're writing we're it recording down. it now. We're, we're, we're recording this shit. So <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Um, okay, so more themes. Yeah, more themes. Yeah. If you're happy with that. Yep. So we could just do like some podcasts dedicated to some random shit. <laughs> yes, we can. Uh, more fucking clips. More and clips. A <laughs> and both of us on video. And we'll do that. Yes, I've, I forgot. Right. My mind went completely blank. Then <laughs> I okay. just said it, and then I forgot straight away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, let us know if you've got anything you want from this podcast. 
if you've got yeah, any suggestions yeah, if anything that you think would be interesting because if we think it's a good idea we will go ahead and do it and send us shit to if you see something funny on the internet send it to us and we'll fucking talk about it mate I promise you <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, the funniest thing happened to me today bro tell me oh, kids man <laughs> kids are so fucking funny I've got three of them now oh mad that was yeah. quick my wife's pregnant <laughs> sick um, no, no what actually happened was I was at a customer's house delivering a parcel as most of my stories go um, <laughs> I was like fucking deja vu oh my god <laughs> we both live such yeah. mundane lives at the moment that every story <laughs> starts the same <laughs> so I was delivering this parcel right <laughs> So I got out of bed, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Okay, yeah, so I was, I was at this customer's house. I uh, got the parcel out, gave him the parcel. His kid's there. He seemed nice. He was like, hello. Some of the kids started like, talking to you. They were really friendly. So they were like, hello. He's like, must have been about three or four. Must have been about three or four. Aww. And his dad looks a bit awkward, embarrassed, like that his kid's interacting in the situation. Yeah. And then the kid just points to his dad's murk and goes, that's my dad's car. <laughs> Bit of a flex. <laughs> yeah, Looks bro. your van up and down and goes, mm, well, that's a piece of shit. Look at this. <laughs> my, dad, my dad's got money. <laughs> Imagine this is being what a this good financial. job gets you. <laughs> he doesn't deliver parcels and this is what he's got. So, <laughs> so maybe a career switch, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Maybe time to rethink what you're doing here, mate. Just <laughs> you want to mark me down the wrong path. <laughs> My daddy here. Mm. My daddy bought me a PS5. He's... What can you afford? Hmm? He's, <laughs> He's a better than you. He's just better than you. <laughs> He's a better man. So <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's this kid, like, completely, and like, it's so funny because kids don't know how to interact socially. So he just, he just, like, looks up at me, and goes, "Hello, this is my dad's car." <laughs> and I was like, "Right, okay." I don't know how to respond to that. I just turned to his dad. I was like, "Nice car, mate." <laughs> <laughs> he does so like I nicked it. You can tell like when people like people get so embarrassed over their kids, it's so funny. Like yeah. they, they act as if other people don't know their kids are retarded. Yeah. You know, like, like we don't all understand that all kids just have like fucking half a brain. <laughs> and they're all so maybe, socially and awkward. He could have got that kid to say that. Maybe he's he's planning that. Maybe it's just like a pissing contest. He's like, right, go out there, son, and just show him how big my dick is. <laughs> it's like that TikTok <laughs> thing, like, say you've got a big dick without actually telling me you've got a big dick. <laughs> my, my son's like, yeah, look at my dad's the size of my dad's car. <laughs> Mummy left him, but he's got a big car. <laughs> he's got a nice car. You weren't supposed to say that, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> he's got no friends or family, but he's got a really quick car. <laughs> he gets to see me on the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't really want to come because he just gets me to talk about his car the whole time. Yeah. He's got an Asbo on his ankle. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so funny. Honestly, the tension, you can absolutely kill it when kids start talking. Oh, just, kids. You can just feel it in the air. It's they're like, oh, God, what's he going to say? It's, yeah. What's he going to say? <laughs> they are, they're, they're brutally honest. I could never be a fucking teacher because... They just, if they think you look shit that day, they will tell you. <laughs> or like yeah. you've got a big spot on your nose or something. And yeah. most people who have grown up and they, they know in social situations, you don't go, oh, no, you've got a big spot on your nose. But yeah. kids will go, what's that on your nose? <laughs> you've got a big red mark on your nose. Did you know? <laughs> Yes, you little <laughs> shit. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like everyone, like a group of kids approaches you, you just know anything could go down. Yeah, you, you anything know that your self esteem is going to crash to the ground. <laughs> it's, I, even, I feel less concerned about that, like a group of 18 year olds. No, I Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, like a group of 18 year olds, you know, like, they, you know their games. But a group yeah. of kids, it's like, you guys are such loose cannons that yeah. anything and could happen right now. And you know they mean everything they say because they're not actually doing it to be nasty. They just genuinely yeah. believe everything they say, which hurts even more. A group of 18-year-olds could be, like, just doing it to get on your nerves. But these kids yeah. are just, like, saying what they see because they don't know, they don't have a filter. <laughs> it's like, I'd rather them take my wallet than abuse me. 
know? <laughs> Take my wallet, not my pride. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Threaten me with a knife. Don't tell me you think that outfit is bad. Yeah, don't say that my fucking ass looks you know? bigger than this. Although some people, like, have clearly just not even grown out of it. Like, grown out of that kid mentality. Because you'll meet certain people. This happened to me once. I Right, so I was working at... I used to work at a kid's play center and I was in the kitchen because I used to do the cooking and this new girl started and she'd, she it was her first or second shift or something and she just came down into the kitchen and said to me, she, well, she was talking and then she just goes, oh, you've got quite a big nose. I went... <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I know, so but I what the it. fuck? So I don't know you. I don't even know your name. <laughs> <laughs> there was oh, no need God. for that. Oh. I can take the piss out of my nose. My friends can take the piss out of my nose, but I don't even know you. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> and then because my boss liked me so much, she then said... Or told this girl not to come back. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, wow. she was like, no, I'm not having her upset my stuff. <laughs> it was fucking sick. Was like, yeah, Jesus. showed you, <laughs> bitch. That's why you don't tell people they've got big noses. Yeah, don't, because we're, we're, we're bitches. We'll, we'll get you in trouble. <laughs> Girl, it's sni- you, you fucking snitch is what you do. Big, big nose kings. <laughs> Unite. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel bad That's for my kids because they can have a big nose. Right, the audacity. The audacity of that girl. That's that's some serious entitlement that is. Yeah, and that's just like she clearly hasn't grown up being told that she can't just say what she wants. Yeah, yeah, you know, or she doesn't give a fuck. Well, yeah, there is that. In which case, fuck you. <laughs> that's really mean. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what a bitch! Oh, I've got this. I think this time stuck. It just reminds me of getting um threatened to get beat up at prom. I don't know why. Oh my god, I remember this. This is the funniest fucking thing. It was the funniest thing I I ever witnessed. Yeah, yeah. So I I posted a a meme. I posted <laughs> a meme. I made a meme. Because that's what I do. <laughs> it's not really. Please don't think that. That's what I do. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I made a meme about a couple of the guys in our school. And I just basically called them chavs. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I did. I'm not, I'm not going to lie and make myself look better than I was. I, I, that's exactly what I did. Yeah. And I mean, were you wrong? <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, hey, debate, I'm, debate. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to finish that question. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we just both and then the same the blokes come up to me on prom night. I can't believe the audacity. Yeah, they came up to me on prom night, being like, "Yo, we saw the meme. <laughs> we saw the meme, bro. Oh my god! And uh, you're pretty small, and I think I could fight you." Yeah, he goes, "I'm, I'm bigger than you. I'm bigger than you. So watch what you say." And I'm stood there, fucking a head taller than both of you. They were both, these two are both exactly the same height. And he goes, Bro. I'm bigger than you, mate. I'm bigger than you, so watch out. And I'm stood there just like looking down on this kid, like, what is <laughs> happening? This is such oh small man syndrome. Oh it's so funny. It's so funny that, like, you're having 10, it was like 15 of them. He brought, he brought his boys out. So it was like 15 boys threatening to beat me up over a meme. And your reaction was even funnier. You just stood there, like, Okay. Uh, <laughs> you, it's like you just didn't even give a shit. You just went, okay, cool. And then they just walked away. Like nothing actually happened. <laughs> I was like, what are you? You got a fight in prom? Like, yeah, what are you doing? We're all dressed We're all nice. dressed in suits. Like, what is this? Like, Peaky blinders? No fucking fighting. 
I have to go get like a non-alcoholic coffee bag from downstairs and oh, smash God. it against the table. This, this is ridiculous. Get your flap cap and your fucking knuckle dusters and see what happens. Oh, bro. Oh, it was so fucking funny to watch. It's crazy. Just That's you crazy. absolutely not giving a flying fuck what, <laughs> what this guy was saying <laughs> and me standing there. It was me and one other guy, our friend Gallum, who was just, we were just stood there fucking pissing ourselves. It was so funny. It was such a ridiculous situation. <laughs> yeah. Like to it see was. to see a fight almost start over a meme just seems obscene. Well, that was a good rhyme. That was a fucking bar right there, mate. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> write it down quick. Write that down. Yeah. <laughs> write a song out of this. <laughs> oh, bro, oh, mate, I yeah. didn't know I was a poet. <laughs> You, you could have said the poet didn't know it thing, but you just... Yeah, but that, that, that was the fucking joke. You oh! <laughs> I was like, wow, are you that simple? But no, I'm the simple one. <laughs> As always, I'm the simple one. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you know what, right? We, we were saying that we want our podcast to be more like... More about... Uh, n- knowing about celebrities and knowing about YouTube and like news and things that are going on yeah but I think it's just the fact that England has nothing going on except from fucking Brexit that's all <laughs> like, it's ever reported all of, about yeah all our news is just like the boring stuff it's none of the exciting celebrity things yeah our news is boring as hell we need and- to move to Hollywood <sighs> Like especially with like like BBC News you always have that it's always depressing as fuck I don't know if you've ever noticed this oh it Watching is watching yeah. BBC News like between each like it's like the countdown theme tune between every story yeah. as well boom 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 yeah yeah that's the one <laughs> There's like a grey fucking backdrop of like Stockport. It's so bad. Yeah, they don't even catch it on a sunny day. It's no, it's just miserable. Just a fuck of like panoramas of puddles oh yeah <laughs> it just does put you in a shit mood it does yeah in England like the, there's no decent news apart from the only entertaining thing to watch about the news is when Piers Morgan is on and that's because he's got <laughs> such face. like fucking ridiculous views on half of the shit that he hey, says he's got such like, charisma he's got yeah. such charisma you, you like I, say what you like about Piers Morgan he is entertaining Exactly. I hate the bloke, but he's so funny as well. <laughs> it's so funny. entertaining to watch. And the, the thing crazy. that I find funny about him is that, like, people on Twitter change their views on him every day. No matter, like, no one has, like, a, a set view on Piers Morgan because yeah. one day he'll say something that is so incredibly true and that everybody relates to that people are like yeah no fair Piers I actually agree with this and then the next day he'll say something completely out of line and people will go oh Piers what dickhead <laughs> <laughs> so no he's so fucking flip floppy that yeah. nobody like actually has a set view on him it's like it's like it's like the opposite of um, Katie Hopkins yeah <laughs> Katie Hopkins you know where you stand with her you know where you stand with her she's just a dreadful human being she's one of the worst human beings I have ever fucking seen in my life literally well, I just feel bad for her kids. Oh but, my god, yeah, they must get bullied to fuck. Can you imagine? And like having to grow up with that in the house, I can only imagine. But God, with Piers, it's it's difficult. It's difficult. It is because he like he, he takes both sides. He's not like right wing or left wing. Like Katie Hopkins is quite clearly right wing, and she's yes. got like a whole like she's very right wing. She's like Nigel Farage <laughs> kind of territory. But yeah. with Piers. Like, he'll be arguing against Ben Shapiro one day and against the transgender person the next day. You just yeah. don't know where he stands politically, so it's difficult <laughs> to really, to really exactly. put... You can't put him in a box. You can't but put people also, like that in a box. No, and he, he always... He takes the mick out of himself quite a lot, which is something Kate Hopkins would never do. No. Like, when he get pied in the right. face, that was so funny. Did what? you see him get pied in the face? Somebody... No. Like, it was Harry Hill. Harry Hill threw a pie in his face. <laughs> Classic. And Piers just milked the situation as a joke. It was it was very well played by him, to be that honest. That's great. <laughs> no, I, I never... N- never saw it. Harry Hill was such a fucking <laughs> incredible TV uh, personality. 
Yeah, he's just an icon. You've been framed, fucking classic. Proper strange bloke. Proper strange bloke. Yeah, this is very <laughs> strange. <laughs> he was an uncomfortable guy. He was like, the first person that I realised that um, men go bald. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even I see him as a human being, mate. I just see him as like some cartoon character. Yeah, he is a lot. Like, <laughs> he's just laughing at everything, bro. It's like Mr. B. Laughing just at like, everything, bro. Should be a cartoon character. <sighs> he used to be a scientist. Didn't like he? he'd he'd get a tax bill come in and just laugh at it. <laughs> yeah, same. Or oh, not same, but yeah, he would. Everyone else would fucking <laughs> cry. Yeah, same. Yeah. That's <laughs> funny. Yeah, so Harry Hill was like fucking Phil Mitchell's brain dead brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Literally. But yeah, he's a doctor. Harry Hill's a doctor. A medical doctor. What? Yeah. How the hell did he end up where he is? I know. What the fuck? How do you change career paths like that? (laughs) What the fuck? Uh, Mate. (sighs) That's hard to understand. I mean... It's kind of like Greg Davis. I can kind of get that a bit more because he was a teacher. Uh, Yeah, I was about to say Greg Davis. He was a teacher, wasn't he? And then he became a comedian. Yeah, and the first role that he got pretty much was... Or well, his most recognisable was him playing a teacher. So, <laughs> in in between us, so fitting. Yeah, but with, and he did it incredibly being well. Being a doctor, like a doctor, that's difficult. Like, was he just like making loads of gags at patients? <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> and then he's like, you know what? They're actually quite liking this. Maybe, maybe I'm not bad at this. Yeah, he's, that, he tests all of his fucking material on dying patients. Yep. <laughs> if I can make them laugh, I can make anyone laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've got you've got terminal cancer, but <laughs> knock knock. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the fucking trenches. They are. <laughs> oh god. Um. So. I've written in our talking points thing, cutlery. I don't know yeah, what the fuck that, that means. Why, why have you done I don't that? know what the fuck cutlery. I know I are had you, something to you, talk about. Are you stoned when you write these? Do you know what? I'm either really tired or like fucking drunk when I write half of these. And that I was really tired. And I like to, in our talking points thing, I like to write a very vague point that I think is going to jog my memory while we're recording, but it won't give you too much, so I get like a genuine reaction about what I'm saying. But okay. half the time, I just fucking fully forget what <laughs> what any of it means. And that is one. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> what you should do, you should write it down there and then write it somewhere else as well. I should expand I should it a bit. That. I'm really <laughs> intrigued what the fuck cutlery means. <laughs> oh, the, hell? But the bit I wrote, I wrote a bit on a Chinese reporter. Yeah, what's what's that all Which, about? Um, not a very funny story, but it, it's I thought it was interesting. <laughs> okay. So there was this um, there was this reporter in China. She's a journalist, and she was in Wuhan when the outbreak started. Yeah. <clears throat> and she was reporting on the situation there. So she was uh, just telling everyone about on social media like what's going on in Wuhan, how the outbreak's happening, like what the government are doing about it, all that kind of stuff, yeah. how many people are dying and how infections are happening. And then the Chinese government have recently sent her to prison for 4 years for doing oh. <laughs> but they put it under some other guys I'm gonna quickly oh, research really? what it was yeah yeah it was really quite fucked up fuck dog um I just gotta quickly find the story it's okay yeah, I'll rap so- Okay, thank you. I absolutely won't rap. <laughs> oh, bro, I'm excited though. I got excited. Yeah, she was. Um, she was. Uh, Zhang Zan, 37, was found guilty of picking quarrels and provoking trouble. 
That's... And she's in prison for picking quarrels and provoking trouble. But not only is she is in that prison, not she half of our fucking school? <laughs> half of the people from where we live that, do that. Is that half of planet Earth? Like... Yeah. <laughs> and she got sentenced to four years. Poor woman. Four years, Fucking man. Hell. And... Like, everyone hates our government, but they're not that bad. Yes. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> like, they do the total opposite. They don't give, put enough action. <laughs> they, they don't send enough people to jail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, right, so... That was, that, was, that was crazy. That is fucking mad. Absolutely mad. Um, Ginger. Yeah. You know what time it is. Oh, is, is this the music section of the podcast? Oh, it's the bloody music section, everybody. It's the bloody music section. <laughs> <laughs> Who's bloody well excited for the music section, hey? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> oh, especially so. Did you did you just play that? Play what? A um, clip saying time is running out. Did you not... No? What are you Sorry, talking, okay. What are you on about? Okay. <laughs> right, so just as you said, you know what time it is? A clip came on from one of my tabs saying, time is running out. And I thought you played it. <laughs> Bro, that's no, weird as hell. I should, that's I should get a little button thing, a little mixer where I just press things to get like a little soundboard. <laughs> That's you what I what thought you'd done. Is. Oh, time my is running out. Threw me off guard. That's why I started laughing. Time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can. Right. I... <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. To me, that I, I thought so everyone weird. heard that. You're just, you're just like. Did you just play that? <laughs> was that? Was that you? <laughs> Jesus, like uh, a grandma. No. <laughs> <laughs> How do you work this thing? <laughs> Okay. Right, so I listened to okay. um, Fat Bottom Girls Sung by Freddie Mercury Which I found quite funny Because he has Absolutely no attraction To Fat Bottom Girls No you're right Although Maybe he did When the song was written I'm not sure I don't know Was he out then I'm not sure I don't know Fat you, Bottom <laughs> Do you reckon he saw it He got like given it And he was like Really I've got to sing about this these are the lyrics. <laughs> Someone else wrote it for him. He's like, oh, Do you sake. realize I shag men? <sighs> Fat like, bottom guys. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you realize you just like know that wouldn't have got the same them? amount of reaction that Fat Bottom Girls oh, would have no. done? You just know. Absolutely not. Especially <laughs> in such a fucking homophobic time. <laughs> <laughs> Although it was a homophobic time, but all of the yeah. main stars were very like feminine men, like fucking Freddie yeah. Mercury, David Bowie, Bowie, Elton John. Yeah, yeah, you know, which is quite interesting. Is it... Yeah, do you reckon they'd like when there's those kind of songs about shagging men came on? They just the crowd just goes a bit quiet. Yeah, they'll just start booing. They like, face the um, other direction, like then everyone just like shuffles around awkwardly, looking like um, <laughs> they talk we gonna, between themselves. <laughs> we're just gonna wait for this one to finish. <laughs> um, look into the sky, like they're not really there. Check the time. <laughs> look yep, around, like um, they accidentally <laughs> showed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, woo, waiting for the main act to come out. <laughs> none, none of this gay shit. I'm not fucking gay. <laughs> I'm not singing along to this. I like girls. <laughs> All right, so I listened to Smack That. Yeah. I mean, it's a classic fucking 2000s song. Uh, it's like the one that you'd Bluetooth to your mates on your mates. fucking <laughs> LG cookie. No, it's on, on like so many naughty's playlists. Yeah, definitely. It, a good song though. Good, good fun. So, first day at the gym, and you're all pumped up. Yeah. Is this week's scene mood? Right. Uh, what What have you got for us, big boy? I so I had one, and I fucking fully forgot it. So I had to choose another one. Um, this is a I've theme, gone bro. For, this, is, this is becoming a theme. It's early to sign the dementia, mate, I swear. My fucking head is just <laughs> empty all the time. Or maybe it's too full. 
it's like a hard drive like it just it automatically deletes shit um yeah we, we do record no, these so, in the evening when we're both stupid to be fair yeah although i have just woken up so. <laughs> <laughs> no, excuse. no excuses no excuse right absolutely no excuse right so i've gone for born to run by bruce right. springsteen oh, it is nice. a it, it's a really good song and it, it fits I, I do listen to it in the gym because it gets me fucking pumped a bit of brucey springers a bit of brucey springers let's play a uh, clip that one. <laughs> that was the wrong song. <laughs> <laughs> so my issue there was I just pressed play on my Spotify and a McFly song started playing. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell did you expect? Like, oh. Quick, turn it off, turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. I would have had no idea. I would have had no idea. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> Oh god, yeah. Whoopsie, whoopsie do. Um, so, what have you got for me? Okay, um, I've got look at me. Look at me. Yeah, look at me. Explanation mark. I'm Sandra D. Uh, oh, by is, XXX. Uh, like, yeah, this is like the ultimate hype music. This beat is, is like the okay. biggest hype beat maybe ever. Well, let's check that. <laughs> Okay, I see what you mean. That is exactly the stuff, sort of stuff they do play in gyms. I was in, yes. I was in the gym the other day, and there was a guy in there who clearly did not enjoy any form of hip hop <laughs> or anything, and it was blasted. They do have the music really loud in there, but it was blasted on the fucking speakers, and he just turned to all his mates, and he was, he was like, "What is this shit? This is not music," and he's like some fucking fifty-year-old man, <laughs> like Ben so Shapiro. Funny. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> ben said exactly that. He's like, can you class hip hop as music? It's like, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. If Stomp is classed as music, then so is fucking hip hop. <laughs> Stomp is people banging on drums using broomsticks. <laughs> um, if you can count like right. Katy Perry as music, you can have you can have a rapper. Yeah. If Rebecca Black had a music career, then so can fucking. <laughs> Uh, a like a hip hop like star X. that I can't think of. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, where are we now? Oh, the mood for next week. What is it? Um, mood for next week is <laughs> you die. Um, you, well, you, yeah, you die. You enter the next realm, and it's just communist Russia. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's okay. the theme for next week. Like, you just awoken in communist Russia. That's all heaven is. There's no heaven. There's no hell. That's that's the next step. Communist Russia. God. Okay. That's not good. Not fun. <laughs> for some, but then fun for others. Although it could, you could class it if you're there just for a little while. It could be fun. If you know you're gonna leave, you gotta live there though. That's like, I, I don't know. I'll, I'm not gonna put conditions on it. I'm not gonna put conditions on it. But yeah, that's okay. That's the mood. Okay. We'll see what we can do. So just to, <laughs> for the reason I've gone kind of quiet right now is because, well, at the start of this episode before we recorded, Ginger said, "I've got a mood, but I don't know if you're gonna know what it means." And then he sort of described what communism means to me because I didn't really know. And now that you've given me the full mood, I'm like, fuck. For one, do I even remember what communism means? <laughs> I think <laughs> it's about time. You've got to do? do some. <laughs> you got to do some research. I don't even know what I'm going to do for this, to be honest. And I'm also panicking might, uh... about the questions game right now because <laughs> that's coming up. <laughs> and is that not the same fucking um, uh, mood? <clears throat> oh no, yeah. we'll do the gym this week, innit? Yeah, New Year's resolution. Gym. Um, right. <laughs> I'm going to be uh, you in a year's time, and you're going to be you now. Okay, okay. I'll be me now, right. <clears throat> Oh, 
All right. What do you think? Did you put on enough muscle this year? Can you see these bitches? What bitches? <laughs> Why is this so hard? Why is this so hard? <laughs> I'm really fucking... We should be yeah. better at this. I think for oh probably 40 of these episodes, we've been doing the questions game. More than that, because we did the questions game before Mully came on, and that was the 10th episode. So we've this played this game difficult. probably 40, 43 times, I'd say. Yeah. And we still aren't good at it. <laughs> it's so <sighs> bad. <laughs> it's difficult in ones like that. It's difficult in ones like that. Because, like, like, what do you say? Like, when you question the existence of something you just make up, it's like, oh. Yeah. Where do I go? Yeah. That's it. It's so easy to <laughs> oh, pin boy, someone shit. in a hole. <laughs> it is, yeah. It definitely is. <laughs> you just chuck him in there. You're like, yeah, I've just killed everything you've made up. What are you going to do now? <laughs> Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go, eh? Hey? <laughs> 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 oh fucking hell yeah nightmare anyway well thanks for listening to our 50th episode here's to 50 more well maybe more hopefully more but we'll review in 50 episodes we've... where we've come yeah yeah we'll see where we go I'm excited for it I wonder what month it would be we could work it out but I'm not gonna Just Whether we'll be past our year anniversary by then. How long have we been doing this shit? Um, since August, I think. Yeah, so we won't, we won't even be past our year anniversary then. No. No, not even close, to be honest. Mate. we got lots of content coming in 2021. 2021, oh, more like 2020 Get Lost 1. <laughs> <laughs>